Yes, YouTube, welcome back to our channel. I'm Luke. I'm Adam. And we are having our eyebrows waxed. Wow. We've just had the eyebrows done. We've had the hair trimmed. I just did, ironically, I did. We've had the hair trimmed and went like that. Hair trimmed, absolute pampered it. We are now on the way. We're off for a massage. We're off for a massage. Nails done. We're going to actually do something productive and go to the gym. We're going to go to the gym. Before that, though, we are going to go. You're going to meet us in Adam's garden and we are doing the Long Fork Challenge. The Long Fork Challenge. not going to say anything else about it. We'll just see you there. You guess. We want to know what you think that is. Comment now. Oh! Jinx, double jinx. <laughs> <laughs> You're making a cook. Right, we'll see you there. Bye. No, we are not going to be starting at the house doing the long fork challenge. We are going to be starting in the gym. Luke's going to take us through with a little bit of a warm up that we're doing, just getting our back muscles nice and activated. So we're going to start off with this warm up. Start out doing external rotation from this position here. So, go like that. Yeah. <laughs> so we start out doing external rotation from this position here, then we move on to doing a rear delt fly and then we go on to do big circles, getting that back nice and active before we go on to our main movement of the workout. So if you notice there guys, it's really low weight and when the weight got too much, just drop the weight and go just body weight, it's heavy enough. This is just an activation set, just to get warm up, to get ready. This is a really good exercise for anyone to do. So one of the main things to think about when you're training back is actually getting it activated and using the right muscle groups. It's very, very easy to overuse your arms in back movements. So one thing that I always recommend, me and Luke always start by doing this, is letting your shoulders go completely and getting that lock in with your shoulder blades to focus and you want to make sure you're getting that lock in with your shoulder blades. That's going to bring your arms from being like a random flailing limb to like being nice and tight and into your body. And we lock them in nice and tight. Then we think about pulling our elbows down to our back pockets. So up, shoulders go, lock down and into play, elbows to back pocket. So if you can see here guys, he's pulling his elbows, locking first, elbows are feeling like they're tucking into here behind your body. A lot of people, what they struggle with is their elbows, if you watch Adam here, his elbows go in front, not really activating his lats, he pulls them back, he pulls his elbows behind. This guy's isolating your lats a lot more, so you focus on the lat pump rather yeah, than yeah, yeah, rather biceps. Than making sure that you're getting this right and using this little tip is going to massively change how your back feels and how it activates in back day. Let's do back day, not by day. If you have the pleasure and the luxury of having a training partner, what me and Adam have started to do now is we'll push the weight, you know, as high as we can go for about six reps, and then the next six reps, it's assisted. It feels like when you're doing it, it feels like your partner's doing a lot of help. In reality, they're actually only taking a tiny bit off. You're there for working to your absolute limit. It's really helped me and Adam feel like what we've got putting on size. We're going to do a lap pull down again, but we're changing our grips, so we're going to go inside now. It's just targeting different parts of your lats. Variation as well, guys. It does hit your lower traps a little bit more, which are very important using your posture and stuff. We just want to make sure that we're getting that locking nice and tight and then pulling down. Feel like a bird, but also proud of And my footsteps on the ground. I raise my head, listen to the sound. I'm happy with what I have found. Just breathe. You notice Adam's wearing wraps, I'm not, so we've got a new tattoo. So I can't actually put them on. Usually we would advise putting your wraps on. Again, it just helps not use your arms as much, it takes the grip out of it, and so you can go heavier and it just generally does help target on it. Yeah, just get rid of your grip out of the movement so you can really focus on locking your shoulder blades, pulling with your elbows. Stop you having to ticks. One more factor out of it you'd have to think about. So 
just thought before we get into this set that I'll show you what grips I'm actually using. So these are the multi-purpose grips from Bear Grip. So I use these on every back day, especially when I'm deadlifted and stuff. Strap down the weight really easy. And then just lock your hand in. And then that weight isn't going anywhere. And you go into your movement. It just takes your grip out of the equation completely and lets you focus on where you're targeting. Because we've been targeting by secondary all day, we're going to finish with, off with an actual bicep exercise using the V-bar, W-bar, whatever it's called. Z-bar. Z Z-bar. What? Z-bar. Z-bar. I'm not going to get it wrong. All the letters. Any, any of the alphabet bar. <laughs> and just do nice strict. Because laying on the bench like this stops you using your momentum. Nice squeeze at the top of the hole. Stoney's match analysis time. So the pump was absolutely unbelievable towards the end of the session. The beginning started off quite weak. You know, didn't feel like we came into it prepared, felt a bit sick, a bit dizzy. But then once the pre-workout kicked in, and it kicked in, it was a brilliant session, wasn't it, Adam? It was a lovely session. My thighs, flat. I was going to say we were really sweaty, but Adam is. <laughs> <laughs> We are doing the long for muscle food eating challenge thing with Bob. So now we're going to make the stick. We've thought about health and safety, obviously. You know, so we ordered goggles uh, so it don't go in our eyes. We've ordered poncho so it don't burn our skin. None of it's arrived. Can do a little time lapse of us making a really advanced long fork. Cool. <laughs> so the food that muscle food has sent us for this challenge, love it's spaghetti. Of course it's spaghetti. Of course it's spaghetti. But we have some different ones. So we have the Mediterranean. I know that word. The Arabah. Arabati? Arabat? Arabatati. Okay. Arabatati. Arabatati. Arabatati! Arabatati! What does it actually say? Arab. Arab. Iatati. Arabata. Arabati. It's definitely not that. And vegetable api panang. Panang curry. Panang curry. Right, okay, so we've got, look at the, the all reasonably low calories for your slimming. So we're going to eat all three because we're bulking. Bulking. <laughs> Welcome back. We are, we're holding a bowl of spaghetti. We are. <laughs> We're holding a fork that's really long. What's going to happen? It's a spaghetti long fork <laughs> challenge. <laughs> the spaghetti long fork challenge. Right? But basically, guys, the idea of what we're going to do, we're going to take the long fork and put it in the food. I'm going to try and get some food. We've got to eat it. We've got to eat it like that. But the kicker is, you're only allowed to hold it with one hand and at the bottom of the stick. And yeah, we're not feeding each other, you're feeding yourself. <laughs> you're feeding yourself. <laughs> so we're going to do it one, one at a time, see how, who can get the most food in their mouth. <laughs> it's going to be a little bit crazy! <laughs> cray cray! Why you acting so cray cray? Basically, we're going to go one person at a time. Try to think of a good pun of that, you shall not pass. You shall not pass. <laughs> you shall not pass. You shall not pass. <laughs> I'm a freaking genius. <laughs> yeah, that would quick, that. I'm proud of you. Who's going first? Rock, paper, scissors. One, two, three, shoot. You go first. I'm me. Are you going to go first? Let's see what your techers are gonna be. Oh, he's getting a twist in there. I like it. I like it. <laughs> oh, I got them! <laughs> oh. <laughs> I've got some spaghetti in my eye. Spaghetti. I've got my face. You're not allowed to touch your face till the end. Like your twisting technique, I'm gonna go for that. No, do you know the problem is though? You can't get it off. I don't think it's a good technique. Is that enough? No, it's good. It's good. It's good after me, isn't it? Do we do it? Do <laughs> <laughs> we could have to shake it. <laughs> it's not coming off. Got an idea. Kind of cheating, I think. Oh, I, I wasn't even looking! <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at you, the camera's down here. I think we have to go again. <laughs> it's, too, it's too long. <laughs> right, I'm going again. Did you get some? Yeah, yeah <laughs> boy! <laughs> Guy's walking past. <laughs> what's, what's going on? Oh, that's a big mountain there. Oh, that's that brave. That's brave. There we go, that one. I'm still laughing. 
¡No! ¿Qué le hiciste? No, yo no. Can't say that. <laughs> please, oh God, please tell me you got it. <laughs> right, so you're not allowed to touch your face apparently until we've done. Right, okay. Fuck. All right, okay. Okay, here we go. <laughs> that was a good one. Go on. <laughs> go on. <laughs> I try, try to go lower. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> you have to do this, bro. <laughs> oh! <laughs> it just ran. <laughs> ran across the face. Mate, was more concerned. <laughs> you the were were coming the to me, I was like... Yeah, back the f*** <laughs> <f> off! <laughs> you showed the floor. <laughs> Get stay of this. Right, last one. Last little go. <laughs> Right. You are rubbish. Oh, nice bracelet, right? Look at that! Well, the Amazon's turned up now. <laughs> Literally, just as we're filming this, the guy was like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> we've got the safety goggles, and we've got the poncho, so we'll pop it on, because we don't want to get dirty. <laughs> and we'll do the final challenge, which is the handstand one. The last thing you want, guys, you really don't want to get this sauce on your skin. Oh, yeah, and what you want to do is you want to be suffocating <laughs> as much as you can. Oh, he's sticking to me. <laughs> so warm. <laughs> right, lads. Last challenge. Come on. <laughs> I've not even put my glasses on. <laughs> Safety first. <laughs> Come on. Oh, fuck. Fuck, what? Oh. See you later, mate. Oh, That's the Amazon driver. He's like, what so the is, hell are you doing? That is the long fork challenge, guys. You look at sweat. <laughs> you wear these in sauna? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely drip. We hope you've enjoyed the vlog today. Eyebrows wax, training, training lats, and the spaghetti. Spaghetti Food challenge. <laughs> I'm gonna go down. Right, guys, we hope you've enjoyed it. You need to check out down below. First link is going to be for the muscle food. So if you go through our link, it helps us out as well, guys. It means yeah. we can create more content for you. Do all of the standard YouTube stuff. So like, comment, subscribe, notification. Ding, 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 ding. ding, ding. And is there one more thing to say? There always is. Stay obsessed. <laughs>